channel. No place on earth has better weather. For the hour, t time to get the very latest on the tropics. As we begin first with our tropical storm and hurricanes and their points of origin from the middle to nearly the end of August, and we notice that we've had a pretty good concentration here just to the east of the islands that make up the Lesser Antilles. You can see each of these dots now represent origins of tropical storms that have developed over the last 100 years or so. We've had a pretty good concentration in the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico here, and even some storms have developed right off the West African coast. So all of these areas are targeted areas for possible development throughout the month of August, this time of year in August anyway. So we will definitely keep our eyes posted on these general areas. You can see based on climatology, the central, the eastern Caribbean is not necessarily a more favored area for tropical development between August 11th and the 20th. Let's look at our overall picture, the Atlantic Basin, which shows distinct features that we've been watching over the last 24 hours. It's pretty quiet, the Gulf of Mexico here. We have been watching a little upper level low spinning in the Western Caribbean. It's quiet over the Eastern Caribbean, except for this tropical wave that we watched as it crossed over the central islands here, the Lesser Antilles. We still have some flare up with it, but not as impressive as it was yesterday an old frontal boundary that lags off the east coast and this area of course is a prime area because remember the last several storms that have developed have pretty much developed as a result of low pressure along an old stalled frontal boundary off the mid-Atlantic coast. So definitely we'll keep you posted on this area. And another little upper level low that's spinning here across the central Atlantic. Other than that, just a few waves that have come off the African coast and trying to make their way across the tropical Atlantic here. So here is our infrared satellite picture, which pretty much shows the upper level low more distinctly and the stalled frontal boundary showers associated with it and our wave that has just moved east of the islands or west of the islands here. Let's zoom in on our old frontal boundary here. We do have some flare up but you can see that uh, most of the energy with this system is lifting off toward the northeast moving fairly quickly. I don't think this will organize into all that much but because our other storms did originate in this particular area with this same scenario we'll keep you posted but for now nothing very threatening. Of course, this being the central, the western Caribbean, and we have that upper level low, our tropical wave, and look at the convection, still holding together pretty good, even though it's not a large area of convection, but we'll watch this little tropical wave for you. Keep in mind, though, that this area not necessarily favored for tropical development this time of year. A little farther east shows a different uh, vantage point. There is that same little wave, and we've been watching a few others as they come off the African coast, but Again, not too impressive. We don't have a large area of convection associated with any of these waves coming off the West African coast. So all in all, it's pretty quiet over the Atlantic Basin. But in the Pacific, here's what's left of Guillermo. It was downgraded to a depression yesterday. Continues to move to the Northwest. Really no big problems. But...
Weather Channel. No place on Earth has better weather. Okay, it's time for the tropical update, and we begin with a look at our headliner, and it's Typhoon Winnie. And Winnie is bearing down on the Marianas. Here's Japan here. This is the West Pacific you're looking at. And way over here is Hawaii, so we're going west to Hawaii. There's Japan. Here are the Marianas, and this is Guam. Now we're going to get in real close and give you the infrared satellite picture of Winnie. And right there, you can see the eye of the storm. That's the typhoon. Winds right around the circulation center here. Uh, being estimated about 115 miles an hour sustained, winds gusting to 135 miles an hour. The storm is moving off towards the west. Center of circulation right now is about 300 miles or so, 330 miles or so, off to the north-northeast of Guam, only about 200 or so miles off to the east-northeast of Saipan here. And this is forecast to move off to the west and then west-northwest and continue to intensify. So the central Marianas and the northern Marianas are in for quite a blow. And you know, we'll be looking at uh, typhoon force winds, hurricane force winds coming on in the next six hours or so. And checking on the latest weather in Saipan here, winds have been coming in out of the west now, gusting over 40 miles an hour as the storm approaches. So we're getting some gusty winds here, but still you can see the uh, central dense overcast still back on over and through here. So there it is, the eye of our typhoon or hurricane. And this is forecast to move its way towards the west and then northwest. And looks like Guam will be spared. We're not even in any typhoon watches down here as uh, we just see some winds uh, gusting, but they should stay below 40 miles an hour or so. But already two inches of rain has fallen in Guam with the heavy rains there. So that's the latest on Winnie. And there it is on the big picture, just in case you tuned in late. Okay, let's go over to the Atlantic and talk about our tropical storm or hurricane. Well, one of these El Ninos, and in this case, a fairly moderate to strong El Nino in the offing here. Uh, Eastern Pacific, Guillermo, tropical depression. As we look towards the southeast, we have our other tropical depression, 10E. And as you can see, comfortably away from Mexico, still moving west-northwest. Now, TD, Tropical Depression 10E, has undergone some shearing by the nearby low-pressure system aloft. That low is here. Now, it's spinning around here, so the southwest winds continue to provide shearing to the tropical system. There's still a chance that this upper low could move just far enough west, and it wouldn't have to move too far west, to tell you the truth. It could move just far enough west, and that would allow for more significant development of the convection, and it would be a process then that would not be interrupted by the higher speed winds upstairs and that then could mean that the system could make the next step and become a tropical storm. We'll certainly let you know if that happens. As far as TD Guillermo is concerned, 28 north, 143.7 west as of 5 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. Sustained at 35, northwest at 12. Now here are the Hawaiian Islands. You can see them just barely here to the southwest of the circled area. Again, Guillermo expected to take this kind of track well north of the islands and a lot of the deep convection or intense convection has pretty much dissipated. Now to get to the matter at hand, Typhoon Winnie. You see this little speck here, the circular lighter area in the midst of the deep red? That is the eye, 10 nautical mile in diameter, latest estimations. Let's go to a close up here. I want to show you, uh, remind you, typhoon warning still in effect. Now you can see, if anything, we're getting even brighter in the center of the circulation here. Uh, perhaps an indication that the typhoon continues to intensify. It is expected to continue to intensify. These are the Marianas Islands. We go from uh, Saipan to Tinian, head northward. This is where the typhoon warning is in effect. Maximum sustained winds. 115 miles per hour, but gusts could easily be over 130 miles an hour. It will continue this due westerly course during the course of oh, about the next six to ten hours. And for that reason, a real lashing of wind and rain coming up. Mike? Boots and bands. What? We met Steve, who was the uh, artist. What are you working on there? Well, I'm carving on a little bear here. He'd be a little traveling bear. He'd have one arm forward and one arm back. And <laughs> what an amazing skill to actually take this, this beast that just chews up the wood and actually be able to create the cutest little things out of it. The wood that someone else can't use, and he's producing art. How did you do this? Well, I took a chainsaw, that bigger one there, the mm -hmm. Husqvarna 272, and uh, made all the great big initial cuts with the proper size bar for what I needed. 
And then I scale down to this smaller saw for all the detail to get in here under the arms to create the fur and the ears and eyes and nose. I was watching uh, one of Steve's partners uh, finish his bear. And what he, what he did was he took a torch and he just ran the torch all over the wood. And the flame from the torch browns the bear. The burning burns off the fuzz. It kind of seals the outside of the wood. It preserves it in a sort, just like an old charcoal log in a forest. You know, they don't have nothing growing on it. Like farmers used to burn the fence posts before they put them in the ground. It's a form of preservation and it's a form of coloration. So we have Guillermo and we also have Tenny. That's right, the Tenny still has not to strengthen to a tropical storm. Uh, Guillermo continues to make its way off towards the northwest. It's going to take the slingshot around Hawaii well to the north. 35 mile per hour winds as of 11 a.m. and you can see it's uh, over 900 miles northeast of Hilo. Here's TD. This, we have two storms on this map. Let's see, maybe you can pick out where they are. Well, one's pretty obvious. This is now Tropical Storm Guillermo. It was a tropical depression. What happened was there were some ships in the area, actually one just to the west southwest of the center, and it reported 40 knots, which actually brings it up to a tropical storm. So it's not that it is intensifying, we don't think. It's probably just that it has been very close to a tropical storm this whole time, and now we have the ships to prove it. Waters are pretty cool up in this area here. Now, the only effect it's going to have on Hawaii, it's disrupting the trade winds. And because of that, we're going to see possibly some convection, some sea breeze, land breeze effect over the islands, and maybe some orographic convection. But that's it. By the weekend, the trade winds should be back in place and everything back to normal. Now, the other storm is, well, actually, it's still a depression. It's tropical depression. 10 E, and we'll take a look at that in a second. But here's the particulars on Guillermo at this time. Winds are at 40 miles per hour, moving north northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now, tropical depression.